Good morning. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> I'll wait until some people come on. Hi, Gail. Hi, Jasmine. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Nancy. How are you guys? Hi, Julie. So can you hear me okay? I was having some, my little ear earbud issue. They were hooked to my husband's phone and I think we have it figured out. And I'm not sure they're gonna last. So if things sound wonky or something, just let me know. This technology. I mean, these are great little things, but I keep forgetting to charge them. It's one more thing to remember. How are you guys? Excited for Thanksgiving. I got up early this morning. We already went to market and got some stuff for for Thanksgiving and I bought some flowers that I want to photograph and had a juice so it's been good morning Ellen market was really quiet this morning Ellen I think because we were there so early maybe we were there at like I don't know maybe quarter seven it just feels so different from the normal hustle and bustle of going to market <clears throat> so today we're gonna paint I'm gonna do um, a bottle brush tree so I'll show you Um, I'm going to try that. I've never painted that one before. Let me get the glare off of here. And actually it's photographed in front of this painting. It's a, an acrylic that I had done for our mantle. And here's the, that's what it was in. Oh, that's a little, I just was working on that too. I, I love doing these abstracts. So I was doing this to make phone cases because my phone case is for fall and I need a, like a holiday one. So I did that the other day, and then that's, isn't that fun? And then back to this. So oh, haven't you, Ellen? Yeah, I've gone back a few times. Hi, Sheila, how are you? I have to remember, add pictorum is Sheila. You have to keep reminding me. After a while, it sticks. The IG handles and what your real names are. Yeah, and see, so, yeah, so you see that? That's that same thing background in the background. I don't know if I'll keep it. I might keep it. I might not. Who knows? I try not to have too big of a of an idea of what I'm doing when I start. So I feel like I've already had like half a day, which is terrific. <clears throat> so let me think here. That dark background. I think I'm only going to hint at what's in the background. Um... Gosh, I need to think here of what I'm doing. I think, did you paint the brush? Yeah, you know what, Nancy, I did this one. No, wait. Oh, uh, that one. Do you like that one better? Which one do you like better? I did do that one. I like all the little balls in this one, so I think I'm going to play with this one. So is everyone ready for Thanksgiving? It's certainly going to be lower maintenance than, than your average holiday, isn't it? Um, a little weird, but hopefully it's only this one time that the holidays, like my kids won't even be here, just, just my daughter Isabel, because she lives here. What are you guys doing for the holidays? Are you staying home? Um, yeah, we'll be pretty distant. I think Christmas is going to be the really hard one. We usually have like, uh, I don't even know, maybe like 50 people at our house on Christmas. So it's crazy busy. So this year will definitely be different. I think I'm going to put a hint of the colors in here. Um, just so I remember where they go. The colors are so fun, aren't they? Um, I think my paints are a little messier than usually. Good morning, Allie. How are you? Are you guys working today? I have, I have to work. Hopefully not all day. 
Hi, Suzanne. Oh, Ellen, she loved it. It was a great school. It was, a, it was nice to get away, too. It was really fun. But, um, yeah, so it's definitely in the running for her choices. It was the first one that she got accepted to, so it's the really the first college visit she's done. But I said I'd go there if they had an art program. I don't think she wants me to go to school with her, though. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't you just love to go back to college? Hi, Morgan. I would love to do that. Love, love, love it. Yes, working today, but from home is easy. Yes, it is easier working from home. I agree. I agree. Yep, I love working from home. Happy Thanksgiving, Morgan. I will do that dark background and just kind of hint at what's back there. <clears throat> See a big shadow behind it, too. All my browns are super dried out. Browns dry so fast. Congrats in small cup designs. What did she say? Did I miss something? My daughter just got into college. Oh, good. Where's she going to go? Did she start? Or is she starting in January or in the fall? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was putting a lid on some paint. Got distracted. I want to keep it loose. I don't want to get lost in these details, as I always say. And you know, I still always say it to myself because all of a sudden I'll be doing something and be thinking too much about the details. It's a constant reminder not to do that. And there was another, like a purple bottle brush tree. I think I'm going to leave that out. I think that's too much detail. I guess I could hint at it, but... Um, did you guys get out any of your holiday decor yet? I didn't. kind of wish I had because I use a lot of it now for painting reference. Maybe soon. Let's get through Thanksgiving first. Um... So are you guys, oh, snow put me in the crisp. Nancy, you have snow. Are you working oils, Kim? Yeah, Sheila, I am. This is oils. All my stuff's dripping. <laughs> it's dripping and dripping. Trees are up. One more to decorate. Wow, you're way ahead of me. Yes, our trees up and outside lights. We have lots of snow on the ground already. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we haven't done anything yet. I'm just getting some of these drips off. It's a little too much drippiness. Although it's fun to work around the drips. There's nothing wrong with them. All right, that was quick. I'm going to put the lid on. Oh, I have stuff all over. I have a book out. I've been doing the my sides of my panels with the gold because I just got a bunch more of these because I have more. Been doing lots and lots of commissions for the holidays. 
<clears throat> so I have to make room here. I can't get to my RNF pigment sticks because I have a book out. I did a um, a commission of a baby, which was super challenging. I'm not finished with it yet, but I had this book out. I was looking at this portrait painting to look for kind of what colors to use. And I really ended up just using my intuition more than those colors because... I think to learn to paint with different colors like that, it probably would be too much of a learning curve right now. Oh, you're looking forward to decorating. Yeah. I, I, I guess I am. I don't love doing that, but um, actually in the middle of the night, I was thinking about decorating. This is too small to do anything. And thought... If I could talk my husband into it, it might be fun to do like the whole mantle in um, in white. But he likes to get out all the decorations, like all the things we've collected over the years. And it's a lot of stuff. And I would rather keep it very simple and only have a few things out. Good morning, Anita. I think I'm more excited to paint these little balls than anything else here. I think I'll put one up here too. <clears throat> and there are some sticking out the sides. Do I have a purple? I'll use this one. Good morning, Anita. Did I say good morning to you? Maybe I will put a little bit of this one in. <clears throat> I have out my... Um, Quinacridone magenta. I do end up using the same colors all the time. Oh, the sticks. These are called um, RNF pigment sticks. They just kind of are um, kind of make your painting surface creamy with color. Totally not necessary, but something fun that I often use. to be watching you with my coffee. Yes, I have my coffee too. I made it at five o'clock this morning and it's still at my Yeti and it's still hot. So nice. I think that's a fun start. Yeah, maybe I need a little bit more of this color that I love, the malachite green. There's just not enough of that in here. I always put a little kiss of that in most paintings that I do. It's my current favorite color. <clears throat> I can't get the film off of it. So do any of you have family coming? My mother-in-law is not even going to come over. We're just going to take food to her. It's still nice having a day off from work no matter what. I'm going to try and keep this colorful and keep it spontaneous and whimsical. I got my ornament yesterday. Thank you. It's be Oh, thanks, Anita. I'm so glad. Thank you for ordering it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. How fun is it to make like something like Christmas ornaments and know people will get them out and think of you like year after year. It's the best. <clears throat> I just trimmed out some more. I have to make a few more. So I'll have more of those on my website very soon maybe today if I'm lucky I don't know how much I'm gonna have how much 
work I have, but that's my goal. And to post this. And I have another, a, another fun um, art crush coming up also. All right, let me think what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn this around. Oops, no, I'm not. You don't want to see me. Okay, I'm going to go this way. All right. Moving this over. Sorry for the bouncing. Can you still hear me okay? All right, now I'm going to mix some of these fun colors. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit so it's not in my way. All right, so I need more of that light pink rosebud. It'll be fun doing these really light ones. Yeah, you can hear me good. Okay, because I don't know that my headphones are going to last all the way. All the way through. So I didn't charge them until 10 minutes before we started. All right, let's do a background of all those fun reds. Let me just put some brown. I think I'll just do a little bit of blue in there too. <clears throat> set of colors pretty quick too all right so now I have to think about the tree itself needs to be gosh it's a brownish pink so I'm gonna try this and I'm um, put a little bit of my permanent rose and some of this rose bud well, that's a nice brownish pink. It's very nice. Okay. So I love that. I'm going to mix some of that up here because I don't need one that was quite as dark as that was. when I move things around like that after a while I end up with like not enough paint all right I think that's good now I want to take this and go even lighter lighter and whiter so pretty aren't they <clears throat> I have to think of some of the light pastel little ball colors too <clears throat> so like a pale, pale. Ooh, let's start with it's pale green <clears throat> They're all the colors are kind of ish. They're kind of pale, um, nondescript pastel colors. Little bits of bright in it. Um, that's pretty good for the bright, brighter green, but I have to put a little bit of, oh, my yellow's dry. Pretty. Now I need a really, really pale 
purple. Let me move this out of the way. I had gotten this out to play with. Where is it? I got out a... Um, I wanted to see what this was like. This is <clears throat> Ruby Violet Light. I'm just going to put a little here. Oh, look how similar that is to this color that I mixed. You really can mix most any color with any color. Like to get, if you want to get a color, you can like take three colors and pretty much mix anything. Although <clears throat> I find reds more challenging than, than any other color to do that with. Like sometimes when you need a red, you need a true red. Like I can't, I can't mix that. It has to start out of the tube. So you have to have like a cadmium red or cad cadmium red light or a brilliant red. Like this is um, vermilion, I think it's called. And that is like one of those colors that you can't mix. You have to get the true color right from the start. <clears throat> That's good. And now I need one a little bit more blue. Um, I'll take this king's blue. Well, I think that's good to start with. Hello to Turkey. And Kara, is that where in Turkey? I have one of my college roommates is from Turkey and lives there. Okay, I'm going to turn this back up. Oh, I guess I should move this away from being quite right in front of me. So yeah, where's everyone from? Do you want to put in the, in the comments where you're from? There, that's good. It's a little wonky. Let me fix that. Look how dirty my hands are already this morning. I'll move this. Maybe I'll shoot this up. That's not working. Maybe I'll put it up toward the ceiling. That's better. <clears throat> oh, thank you. From California. Is it sunny and warm there? Isn't it always sunny and warm there? I love California. Georgia, St. Paul, Minnesota, Honduras. Thank you. It's fun. Connecticut, South Louisiana. Ireland, <clears throat> Brynathen, PA. Where's Brynathen? Is that near Philadelphia, Toronto, <clears throat> Ontario, Canada? Does it snow there like all year long <clears throat> or all winter long? I am. We have had the mildest autumn ever that I can remember in my lifetime. <clears throat> and I'm very appreciative of that. I'm sure, it's not going to stay that way, but for now, <clears throat> it's been really nice. Oh, I didn't kind of do a turquoisey green. I just have to wing that. <clears throat> Snow from November until early April. Wow. Hello to India. Oh, two from India. Is it always hot in India? Forgive me for not knowing. I'm getting paper towels. It's my pause here. I was. I 
I ran. <clears throat> Bernathan is northeast of Philly. Okay. Northeast. Is it near New Hope? I don't know if I've ever been to Bernathan. <clears throat> That's why we are Florida snowbirds, but not this year. Oh, okay, so you would normally go to Florida to get through the, the cold part. That makes sense. Yep. And ca Canada... I don't even, are people from the United States even allowed to go to Canada right now? I don't actually know, but I don't think so. <clears throat> you can fly, but no driving across borders. Oh, okay. Essential workers. Oh. <clears throat> Do you like to paint on canvas or wood panels? <clears throat> insurance is an issue. Oh, insurance. Oh, health insurance. That makes sense. Um, I like to paint on the wood panels, although I also want to paint more. Like I paint on canvas when I paint large and I do want to paint large more often, but it is a learning curve. Like I was, I'm working on this. This is an ornament painting that I'm working on that's on canvas. And just the way the paint sits on the surface, it's um, it's just different. I like both. I would say that I'm trying to embrace canvas more. Um, mostly because that's how you do larger paintings on canvas, like these wood panels. I have done large paintings on these wood panels and I loved how they turned out, but on the downside, <clears throat> they're really heavy. I have done a few and sold them. But, and they really turned out neat, but I just feel like they're, it's a, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm rambling today a little bit. So I just want to hint at this environment, not really literally paint all of it. <clears throat> How do you prime wood panels without getting brush strokes? Oh, I don't prime them. They come, they're called ampersand gesso board and they have, they already have gesso on them. So I don't do anything to them, which is wonderful. Big time saver, right? Putting some hint of my painting in the background. If I don't like it, I guess I could always make it more subtle. <clears throat> I'm going to try Arches oil paper. I usually use, I love Arches oil paper also. I think that's probably my second runner up to the panels because I love the texture of watercolor paper. Love it. So like all my ornaments are on the, and they're actually acrylic. I have done a few of my ornaments as um, a few, uh, 
Oh, Kim. Um, <clears throat> commissions. And they were oil, but otherwise my ornaments are with acrylics. And I'm doing them on the oil paper anyway because I love the paper. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, all the way around. That's what I do. I kind of dance around the painting and add little bits in. Now that you're saying that, maybe I'll... That has... Dark. <clears throat> I can tell I'm thinking hard today. Absolutely love. Vicki says, I absolutely love Arches Oil Paper. Just starting using it this year. Yes, I love it. I love it. And sometimes I prime it and sometimes I don't. All right. I think I need a cup of, a cup of coffee, a sip of coffee. I'm going to have a little coffee. So what's everyone having this morning? Coffee or um, tea? When I was at market, our friend Brad owns the little the stand with all the juices where I get my fresh juice. And that was the main reason we went to market. And he gave me um, Bloody Mary mix to try. And I love Bloody Marys. I hardly ever have them because like I'm the only person that I know that really loves them. So I would never make one on my own, but now that I have this wonderful fresh juice to make them with, I know I'm gonna be having that either today or tomorrow. That sounds like a wonderful treat, doesn't it? <clears throat> having coffee, Gail. Coffee with oat milk creamer, Vicki. That sounds good. That's better for you, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm lost in thought here today. Hmm. Oh, I'm missing stuff here. Black coffee from New Orleans. You froth your cream. Do you have to use a, like a fancy machine for that to froth your cream? I guess you would. <clears throat> Is the background too dominant? What do you think? Just a small spinner frother. Love how the tree's coming forward. Yes, that's right. I need to think about that. Let me make sure. And this all should be to the back.
It's a two, I don't know. No, I do kind of like it because it makes the tree look like it's in an environment, kind of like when you look in the window of, you know, like a, um, a Christmas display, how you can see um, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but you can see something. Oh, see the depth, the kind of the depth and the magic of all the stuff going on. <clears throat> Vicki says, sorry, Kim, you may have explained this a bit before. That's okay. But as a round brush user, what draws you to use a flat brush? I use, oh, okay. Well, um, boy, that's a good question. I would say with a flat brush, like I can make big strokes, big um, kind of confident wide strokes or I can turn it on its side and get right in there it's almost like using a flat brush uh, I would I think that when I use a flatter brush I get more lost in the details like I start to think about bits little bits of the painting rather than the whole picture all at once like I think a bigger wider brush kind of um, encourages you to paint looser does that make sense? I'd say that's probably my allure with it. Because it, it does feel very comfortable to me. So I can kind of get in there and do the same things I would do with a... Sometimes I'll use a smaller brush. Looks like there's light in the background. But the tree is still the star. I wonder if that red, you know what I think is bothering me? I think this red is just a little too red right here. My eye is going to that. Every time I kind of look up at my painting, my eye is getting caught. And I want the background to be kind of dreamy and have fluid motion, but I don't want it to um, pull your attention. <clears throat> what media means for any kind of art. Oh, what did I miss? Did I miss something? Did I answer all the questions? Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna try and play with this pink a little bit. Vicki says, that's exactly what I thought. Using a small round brush, it takes so much longer to work through the painting. Yeah, I probably, like I might get one out for some details inside of the ornaments in here. But for the most part, I only use, and sometimes, yeah, usually ornaments sometimes I will, but I tend um, only to use those brushes for bird's eyes. Like I always need them for the eyes of my birds to get in there and get like that little kiss of highlight in the, in the eye. So I do have a few. And I did buy some new brushes to play with. Did I show them to you? I'm gonna knock everything down if I pick them up, but kind of less expensive ones just to give a try. Um, and I still haven't even, think of all these fun ones for playing with larger painting. And then, what do I have? Like I have, like these are brand new, I love a brand new brush. Oh my gosh, probably nothing that I love more than brand new paintbrushes and I haven't even unwrapped them yet it's just crazy this is kind of a challenge for me I don't paint like textures very often and it's this fun little um <clears throat> whatever it is the bottle brush the where the where the pieces of the brush 
the bot the brushness of it are all kind of gathered clumped together <clears throat> what size panel oh this is an and a six by eight panel I think after the holidays, my goal is to do some large paintings. I don't have enough large paintings, and I sold a few of them recently. So I really have an itch to go, go big. I ordered a few from Rosemary Company. Good. I hope you love why well, I don't hope you love them. I know you will. You know, I haven't found brushes anywhere else that compare. And every now and then I'll try ordering other brushes just to see if I can find something else I like. I don't know why I'm happy with the rosemary ones. I don't really need anything else. But, you know, us artists, we like to experiment with art supplies, right? Mm -hmm. what time is it? 8.43. I think I'm good on time. <clears throat> Look at the Russian. It's very pretty. Russian comment. Um, Ray in here. Now I'm trying to think about these, um, the little balls on the tree. I'm trying not to think about what they are, but just where I see like colors, light areas and dark areas. So that they get those little highlights on there. <clears throat> oh, I didn't put any color at all in this little base. <clears throat> Oops. All right, now I need to think for a little bit here. Let's see. I think I want to add a little bit of the hint of the texture of it, but not too much. <clears throat> I need a little bit more weight on my palette. Just gonna put a little bit out because all my whites are tarnished or whatever the word is, and they all look dirty. That happened so quickly. I think that's too. Um, I would like that to be a little more blue. <clears throat> no, thank you, Diane. 
Diane, congrats on selling all those ornaments. A Diane Permenter, do you guys follow her? You have to um, follow Diane. She just, I, I've been working on her website for her. And I just listed a bunch of her ornaments. And in no time flat, they, a bunch of them sold. So you have to go check them out. They're beautiful. Very whimsical and fun. It's Diane Permenter Art, right? Diane, is that right? You think I would know that, huh? It's frightening the things I forget. And I think you sent me a couple things to add on there today, didn't you? <clears throat> yes, that's exciting. <clears throat> and you have to let me know that it's all working correctly on the back end, that you're getting notifications and... Now you have the fun of shipping. And being facetious is really not that fun. <laughs> but it's all good. It is fun. I shouldn't say that. It's plenty fun. I want to make this more neutral. Down here. Not so pink. I don't want that so pink. Should check the time. 48. I think I'm still good on my time. And I have to do some highlights on these ornament on these little ornaments. I did just when you have time. Okay, good. Good, Diane. Any other purple? Whoops, there was a little purple right there. I didn't need to do that. I, mean, I think I just need some highlights. A little light color to the left of the bottom left ball. Here? Is this what you're thinking? In that, in that ball. That ball needs to be lighter. Oh, the tree. That one right here. I think you mean here, right? And this needs to come down around here a little more. <clears throat> Glass ornaments look shiny and real. Thank you, Rosemary. It's pretty fun, isn't it? Yeah, I'm excited. This was fun, a fun um, subject to paint. Oh, look, there's some really cool reflection in there. Let me see if I can get some of that in there. I still have a couple minutes. Do you mind telling me what kind of brush you're using? Oh yes, this is my favorite. This is called uh, Rosemary and Company Eclipse Short Flat Number 12. 
That's pretty much my go-to brush that I use all the time. What was I just saying I wanted to do? You know I already forget. There was something I think that I wanted to add. Which color combo are you using for Huey? I don't know, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Oh, I know, I wanted to add a little bit of this green in here. Yes, so do I. The rosemary brushes are fabulous for highlights. Oh, what? Oh, white. I'm using a white. I'm going to put a few in here, too. Kind of just titanium white right out of the tube. For those strong, strong highlights. And adding a little more of that texture. See anything I've missed? Anything? This is definitely. Light in here. I think I'm about finished. Um, you see anything else that I've missed? Um, does it look straight enough? I think so. I'll do a little bit of whites up here. This side. I think that's good. I'm just going to, you know, there comes a point where if you keep fussing with it too much, then it goes, no, wait, I need this to go a little darker in here, I think. Yeah, if you fuss with it too much, then it goes, um, you can go over the top and mess it up. I'm really good at that too. be too dominant. <clears throat> no, wait, let me see. Just maybe a little darker. I think that's good. I don't think it's adding anything. I need to stop. Okay, I'm going to sign it. I think I'll do it over on this side. And how fun is that? Okay. I'll show it to you. I'm going to pull this out of here. So there's a... Got some. So how fun. These are all the little details. And then there's my palette. More colors than normal. 
but so fun. And then there's my reference. And I'll turn this around. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'll save this. <clears throat> oh, I sign with, it's called an Amber uh, uh, Kemper Wipeout Tool. Whoops, I'm putting it here. It's over here. It's just a rubber-tipped tool. Actually, I bought some some from Rosemary and Company. She has some nice, wait, do I have? I don't know where they are. Oh, right here. I didn't take them out of the, oh, it's here. Um, it's not labeled as anything, but they're like rubber tip tools that you can sign with. So I'll load this, guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks for coming. Bye. No, wait. No, I don't know how to end it. <laughs> Instagram has changed. And I don't know how to do things. So I'm going to hit the X. Goodbye.